Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a registry editor error message that it cannot import the file because the specified file is not a registry script. You can only import binary registry files from within the registry editor. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I recommend doing would be make sure your syntax is correct on your registry file. So, perhaps it's for an older version of Windows, so there's a different sort of formatting that you might have on the registry file. Make sure it's applicable for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. There aren't any spelling errors or formatting issues that are easily identifiable. So, that's the first thing I recommend taking a look at. Something else you can try here as well would be just to actually go ahead and open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Let's match to come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now if you want to just select file and then import, you can navigate to the file location and just select it and then select open. You can import it into the registry that way. If you're still having a prompt, something else we could try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. I'm gonna have a couple commands in the description of the video here. First one's a DISM command. It's a little different than the one we normally run. So just make sure you go ahead and copy that from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in and hit enter. Okay, so once that one has concluded, go ahead and copy the second scan, which is a more familiar system file checker utility scan. So just go ahead and copy that, again, from the description of my video. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select Edit, and paste that in. Hit Enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer.
so there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.